Hi again, it's me Malik Yachin. Um, today's lecture is going to be a continuation of my previous lecture uh, where we discuss about uh, Gucci Piano. And at this time, I'm going to show the game against uh, uh, Master Takashi Iwamoto. And I had white pieces at this time. So you see, that's, that's the important moment uh, to understand sometimes uh, chess systems, chess openings, you must play them with both colors. So first game, I had a black color, and at this time I had I had a white color. So again, uh, I'm playing against uh, Fidel Master Takashi Iwamoto. And we are having pretty much the same line. All this theory. And here my opponent went uh, a little bit tricky move order. He went here first, and then that is seven. It's pretty much the old fashioned. Some people do this uh, before castle, some people do this after castle. But the idea, it's uh, very old and it's very famous. The, the whole point behind this uh, setup, the knight on c6 goes on g6. From g6, he will support e5 pawn and uh, control f4 square. The most important uh, thing is why we're doing this setup, it's to uh, keep c pawn flexible and free to jump on c5 and create another pressure on d4 square because it will be triple pressure on d4 square. So that's the idea. So uh, rookie one, at this point, temporarily I can afford not to play h3 because actually I would like to provoke black jump on g4 since I have this d4 move because uh, thanks to the knight since he left c6 square. So uh, my opponent went here, castle, I mean, g 6 Another, um, let's say, chance for black to make a smart, tiny mistake jumping on g4 by bishop or knight. But obviously, my opponent uh, knows this line, so castle. Now, uh, I have to play h3 to make sure he doesn't have knight g4 anymore. Let's say if you do this mistake, then he, he might really have this knight g4 already. So, h3. Rookie 8. Uh, well, this is the idea, as I said. So, as you see, uh, black supporting um, d4 move, and kind of uh, prevented d4 move, actually, because they're trying to uh, keep the eyes on e4 pawn and then uh, create some pressure. I must play here. Bishop e6. And pretty much this all uh, very known position, uh, well-known position. I went here, ad4. And now, from this point, we start to play pretty much our game. So d4, he went h6, because uh, I think it's also important to move here to make that, because to prevent uh, any possible jumps on g5 from white knight especially, or the bishop. We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.